Welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how I do my wash routine. I had um, braid in my hair, the um, goddess lock, <sighs> that hair. It was like a, a nightmare for me. Like, I had to keep it in because I didn't feel like wasting it. Because um, it gave me a lot of headache. It hurt my scalp. I'm sitting a headache. And it, it pulled out, you know, you see how my edges look. It pulled some of it out and it hurts so bad. So I took it out and I unrotted the, the locks. And then I just kept the, the, the braids in for the next two weeks. And I took out the braids like five days ago. And this is just how I did my hair. I parted it into four. You know, I put some of the the grease, the, uh, not the grease, but the, the lemon garden oil in there. Just so it don't be itchy and stuff. Like when it itchy, I just, you know, pat it. Like patting your weave because I'm going to perm it today and I didn't want that me to perm it in. It's burnt, my scalp is burning and stuff like that. Then the perm don't do the, the work it's supposed to do. So, yes, guys, my hair used to be really long, it was like 16 inch long, and I chipped some of it off because it was breaking a lot. And now I might chip more off again because I really wanted to grow back. And stuff is a little bit thin and stuff like that maybe I'm getting old too so anyway this is my product I'm gonna be using today the uh, motion I'm using the motion the conditioning and the shampoo you know this is what I've been using for the past seven or eight years um, I used to use dark and lovely and then it tend to break my hair I use it for a very long time it tend to break my hair making my hair very thin and then making it like I'm going to insert some pictures uh, then making it very soft and silky and that's not the look I like with my hair because my hair I always wearing it out I don't really do much for me I braid once a year or twice a year maybe the most so I don't like it to be too silky and stuff if I want that texture I can just flat iron it or whatsoever so yes and then I switch it to like olive oil one of them I used to use then I got pregnant with my son and I never liked the smell so then after I had him and then I switched to motion so I've been using motion for the past seven to eight years and stuff like that so um, now the motion I know it might not be the motion but I'm going to take a break for the next maybe six months and then I can go back to it so this might be my last time using the motion because my hair is thin to break it's breaking a lot and I don't like that so I might change it because when you're using a product you know when you feel like it's maybe doing something you're not supposed to be doing it's always good to take a break and you know and then you can come back if you want and stuff like that and I really like the motion and I like the way it do my hair it don't make it um, soft and silky and stuff like it just make it free and stuff like that so I like that so I'm just gonna take a little break for it for like six months and then I'll come back if whatever product I switch over to if I don't like it that much and I will just try to come back to it but yes guys this is the product I'm using and then I'm also going to dye my hair where's my dye? oops it dropped this is the best dye ever the best rinse semi permanent dye oh. can't read that can't you but yeah I've been using this dye for the past 10, 11 years. I used to work at a, a beauty salon called Etta in Maryland. Since Jeanette introduced this dye to me, and since then, this is what I've been using. My natural hair color is like sandy brown. It's like two, then sandy brown, like the, you know, it's like here is like sandy brown, then here is like two in the work your way. I'm going to insert some pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I've been using this jet black. I always use jet black because I like my hair to be black. And black make your hair low healthy and low, you know, full and stuff like that. So I always like to use jet black. And this is the dye I use, Kiss Express. I don't know why this thing is not catching it. There you go. And that's the dye I always use. So guys, um, I'm just, 
recording this introduction because when I start to do this video it's gonna be speeding up and I don't want to do voice over again um, and kids might be up as well running around so I just want to do this part and let you guys um, see what I use and stuff like that and then I'm going to put my after everything my process I'm going to put my new ingredient oil and my parachute go or uh, hair cream in there and don't forget to always your plastic this is from Walmart like 15 of it for like a dollar you know and then um, don't forget to wear your gloves because you don't want your hands to feel hard when you're using a perm or even when you dye your hair you want to wear gloves you know I just did my hair my nails yesterday and I ain't trying to mess it up nope so um, yes guys thanks for watching and I hope this video help you guys out whatever because we all go through the same hair problem <sighs> it's so annoying so um thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe if this is your first time to my channel welcome and i hope you stay so i see you guys later okay.